Hey, my name is Joe Latender. Welcome to my channel, so that's how you do that. In this video, I'm really excited to bring to you how to get through a doorway real easily into another bedroom without using a transition. Now, the plank in this video is running perpendicular to the main doorway coming into the bedroom and then parallel to the big closet door. I think that I'm sharing a bunch of really good tips in here that are going to help you really simplify your install so that you don't have to use those transitions in your doorway so hey let's let's quit talking let's watch so i want to show you what we're going to do here first off we're going to hook on a scrap piece so what i like to do when i'm coming into a bedroom is i'll snap off of the outside wall i'm going to snap a line and that is what i'm going to make my plank straight to as i continue on into the bedroom so i'm going to kind of square the plank up with the bedroom and i'll show you how we're going to do that now and so what i'm going to do is i'm just measuring off one part of the wall over here one part of the wall over there we're going to make a couple marks out here snap a line and then we're going to use that line to guide us to keep that plank straight now i want to bring that mark in the room or into the room a little bit so i'm not measuring so far away all the time when i'm trying to get the plank straight and i'm also just going to go with any kind of any amount you want i'm just going to go with an even amount of seven feet and then i'm going to go down to the other side and measure seven feet down there so now i'll also make a mark right here at seven feet now I'm going to take a nail I'm going to put it right in the center of this mark. And now I'm going to hook on my chalk line. And we're going to extend this all the way down. Once I have it down there over that mark perfectly, then I can just snap a line. Now what I'm using here is what I call the cheater board. And what I do is I cut part of the locking system off, usually the groove. I just take maybe just the lip off. Now the more you leave on, the bigger your expansion joint. The more you take off, the less your expansion joint. If you just take a little bit off, then you're going to end up having about a quarter inch expansion joint, as you can see here. And I'm going to mark this. Now I can just slide my cheater board up against here. I know that I want it to come to about right there. I can square it up with the plank, draw my line. Same thing, come in here. I want it to end right about there. I can square my cheater board up with the plank and then just make my mark. And so right here is where I'm cutting out. going to be kind of a little bit of a pain in the butt. What we want to do is get it so that it's close to being locked in right here. Lift up underneath the plank right here and get it to lock in. Now this long joint is all locked in. Now that I have all these pieces in, I'm going to bridge this again because I want to get it straight with the line and then we're going to secure it. What I'm doing here is I call bridging and I do this so that I can move the plank around without it coming apart. And as all I'm doing is I'm straddling a plank evenly on both sides of the butt joint of the previous row and that really gives me a lot more stability. Bridging really makes it easy so that you can move this. Just like I shared with you in the beginning of this video, you can move this around without worrying about your plank falling apart. I know that down here my plank is straight because it's connected to the floor out there. So I know right here it couldn't have went off very much at all. So if I measure from right here to my line, I get about 31 and 3 16 That is what I want to make the rest of this plank away from that line. Okay. 
here's a joint right here. I like to have these scrap pieces on joints. There is not a joint right here, but it's coming close to the end of the wall. So this is another spot. Now what I did here is I cut some scrap pieces from some cutoffs that I had of plank and I'm using these, I'm connecting them to the plank and then I'm securing them down the screws and this gives me a really good solid foundation to work off of so I don't have to worry about the plank moving during the installation. So there's a couple of ways to do a door like this and the easiest way I can show you is that you want to have a joint somewhere in the doorway here. So you want to avoid having a joint in this doorway until you've got to right here. So now what we want to do is we want to line up our long joint. So make sure your locking system lines up with the locking system of the plank underneath. Now we'll just take our cheater board and do what we did on the other door and start marking it. And so right there is about where I want to make my cut. And it comes to right there. So this is the stuff I want to cut out right here. So what I want to do is I want to lock this in, slide it as far as I can before it's going to hit right there, get it locked down. So I'm going to take a scrap, it has the locking system on it, I'm going to hook onto it. Now this time I'm going to use my pole bar because I need a little more strength. take my other piece and I'm going to start working this in. Now before I lock all of this in, I'm going to lock that little joint in. Okay. Now I'm going to finish putting in the long joint and I'm going to use my plank hammer. Get this up a little. You can see it just locked in. Okay. Now we have that all together. So be sure and look for the next video that I'm going to release, which is us coming into a doorway with the plank running parallel or the long way to the doorway. This can be a little bit challenging to get through a doorway like this, and I share some different tips with you that can really simplify it for you so that you can be sure that you can get through that doorway without using those transitions which everybody hates to use now the tools that i used inside this video you can find on my website i'll leave a link below this is called the plank hammer this is really a great tool that helps simplify the plank installation process come check this out i also shared a pull bar on there that now i actually have one that's different than that it's called the plank puller check that out on my site also if you're looking for some tools that will really help your installation go a lot easier now, I also want to tell you that if you're looking at for some videos that are going to help you on how to start, where to start, plank direction, um, how to get those first rows started, I have several videos that will walk you through that. You can go ahead and look at the description of this video too, and I'll point you right to those videos and help you get going on that. Hey, 
I just want to say thank you very much. If you liked this video, hit that subscribe button, that like button. I'd really appreciate it. Be sure you're looking for the next video. By the way, my name is Joe Latender, and I just want to say thank you for watching. And if you don't mind, I wouldn't mind praying for you. Father God, I pray for everybody watching this video. I pray that you bless them and their family, Lord. Lord, we all have stuff. We all have stuff going on in our lives all the time. And I pray that if there's people out there that are in need, Lord, I pray that you would answer their prayers. And I pray that you bless them, Lord, and get them through these tough times that they might be in. I pray for that in Jesus' name. Hey, again, my name is Joe Latender. I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.